With the recent tragic event in France that nearly destroyed the historic Notre Dame Cathedral, we're taking a look at a historic church in the Rio Grande Valley that was built by a French architect. Our Marlene Rodriguez takes us back. It started as a small wooden church in 1850, built by one of the first missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate. It was the site of the first Texas Oblate Seminary and was a haven for priests fleeing revolutions in Mexico. In 1859, the Immaculate Cathedral was finally complete. The priest who took over the construction of the church was an architect in France, which explains its Gothic revival style made possible by the donations of generous parishioners. And he designed this Gothic featured church, which is very unique on the border. These chandeliers on the ceiling of the cathedral are from the time of the Civil War and are from France. If you can look at the features that are in this particular cathedral, they are very, very sophisticated for the time. The church was constructed with over 250,000 clay bricks made from the village of Santa Rosalia, three miles away from the old town site of Brownsville, which helped it withstand great turbulence. The tests that it had of time were the hurricanes, the, the catastrophic hurricane of 1867, just absolutely obliterated very, very much that was here, but the church stood. Then there was another test in 1864. The coming of the Union forces during the Civil War prompted the Confederates to set fire to the ammunition depot, causing an explosion at Fort Brown. Although Fort Brown is nearly half a mile away from the church, windows were damaged but the church stood standing. Today, Valley residents are proud of the Mother Church as a religious sanctuary and its historical significance. In Brownsville, Marlene Rodriguez, Local 23 News.